always mouse season here. Well, well guys, it's been a little bit. I uh, hope you guys have had a great summer. Uh, we've had a uh, pretty productive and busy one here up here on the hill. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's good to step away, take a break from everything. Uh, we had a, uh, a big crunch in early part of the summer. Uh, we were having uh, some festivities here and we needed to wrap some things up right away. And it took a solid month and a half or so to do that and then uh, and then we were able to uh, head on up to Montreal for a little bit and uh, boy we had a great time up there really affordable and uh, uh, very walkable so if you have an opportunity to get to Montreal go check that out a lot of construction going on but it's a beautiful city uh, very clean and uh, the architecture up there is just amazing so anyways we're back and uh, we're we're gonna try to get moving on some things around here. And uh, one of my last videos I talked about uh, having some problematic trees that I needed to get a tree service in and take down. And uh, that just happened this last week. So uh, we've got some serious tree service carnage here. Um, we got to do a lot of the cleanup. That was the deal. He was just putting them on the ground uh, and didn't, didn't chip anything, didn't do anything. So that was what I wanted. I, I live out in the country and I don't, need them to chip anything up. Uh, I can take care of all that. That just means a little extra work for us. <clears throat> so we're going to jockey some things around uh, and uh, we're going to I'm going to set set up I'll call it the wood yard. I'm going to set that up a little, little different than I did last uh, last year. So uh, let me just spin you around. This, this is some of the, the trees that he took down. Alright, so you can see that goes back into the woods there. And then this one here he took down. There's a, this is the one I didn't want to mess with at all. This is really dead. This was really dead at the top. But that's all going to be awesome firewood. I'm not sure if I'm going to drag them out or cut them up a little bit at a time. And there are several other places down the driveway that we have uh, the same same situation. So uh, I'm going to jockey some things around and uh, we'll start getting these things out. So uh, thanks for joining me today. My name is Dave and uh, you're watching Mountaintop Living.
Well guys, that was one tree. It had two main branches. And let me show you what I got. It's a pretty nice little uh, stack of ash right there. And I've got like uh, probably, I've probably got about uh, seven, maybe eight more trees just like that. Um, which is why I've been holding off getting a log load this year because I think uh, I really only need about three cord to f uh, fill up the second side of the firewood shed and I think I'm gonna have that so uh, I'm holding it off I still would like to get a load of logs before uh, before winter sets in but uh, I think I'll be in good shape here so in any case guys thanks for joining me today I uh, hopefully you enjoyed some of this and uh, uh, get out there and do something yourself. And until next time, be a good human.